Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for this week's budget with me. We are on the third week of January for me. It's probably the middle of February for you guys, but I start by jotting down the dates that this will be covering, which is the 18th through the 24th, and this month was rough because I did finally get that new job, but I didn't start actually making money until February from the job because I wasn't serving, so I wasn't getting my tips. So it was just the hourly and I haven't gotten my paycheck from it yet, but that will only serve to help in February. It's just money was very tight. So the first object on the list was Trader Joe's groceries. I believe that was for some cat food, which ended up just being a waste of money because we needed to get a different brand of cat food now for our little boy that is now like a vet prescription type of food and so most of that food is going to waste but did my best next up was 229 for parking at an audition on a street meter 3303 for gas and then i have a few dining out items so yum yum was 428 so that's just coffee and then there are three transactions from creation which is a juice bar acai bowl place this week had been because lex was sick lex was sick and then i got sick and the quickest way we found to get over colds is acai bowls and so we had those and i didn't get any which maybe i should have maybe then i wouldn't have gotten sick myself so i got some the next week <sighs> So for groceries, I also went to Ralph's just for $9.57. There, there were a couple items that I wasn't able to get with my grocery order the week before. Just cilantro and smoked paprika and regular paprika. And then I had to do some shopping for work. I needed work pants and work shirts. So I went to Sears and I didn't realize they were having a closing out sale. I wish I had gone earlier because they were empty when I got in there but they had some black work pants that I was able to get for just eight twenty, so that was exciting I didn't really like how they fit so I only got one pair but it would have been a good stock up price for sure then I went to McDonald's and got some coffee Walmart was more work clothes I got my shoes and a black undershirt for thirty six eleven. more coffee at yum yum and then we ordered a black button up from Amazon because I couldn't find any at a local store. And of course it didn't get here in time, but that was okay. More coffee from Yum Yum as always. Then I have my food handlers card. It, in LA at least, you have to do an online course about food safety in restaurants and hygiene and all of that. And you have to pay for it. So it's really expensive to start a new job, which should not be the case because the whole point is that you don't have income but whatever Eleven ninety five for that and then i went to yum yum again for some coffee this was spread out across several days obviously and then it was my big grocery haul uh it cost 146 dollars and 70 cents this week i did my debt payment to my grandma for school she had given me a loan so 150.95 and then my water bill came out, which was eighty-two sixty. So not an amazing spending week. Just lots of coffee runs, but that's because of sicknesses and the cat and all of that. And so even I would occasionally be running to Yum Yum just to get coffee for myself because I'm just trying to get through my new schedule and figure things out. So then I jot down all of my income for the week. I had a few nannying jobs, a couple extra that came up, which was good because I had a couple that were canceled. So overall, I made $705 this week. So I quickly go through and add some deco. I didn't do it as I went this week just because I was sort of stressed out and so I wasn't in as decorative of a mute of a mood because I wanted to see where the numbers took me 
but I put down this little credit card payment sticker, even though it was a check, but it's still a credit card and a little dollar sign and the grocery sticker before putting down my payday. I did put down this little piggy bank washi tape in the corner. I'm not sure that I like how it turned out, but it's there. It's cute enough. My wins for this week was that I did get my new job, start my new job, and that is going to be so helpful going forward. I have, for some reason, I think my nanny days have just been slipping, and I think it's because a lot of people are struggling, struggling financially lately. If you watch the news, you'd think the economy is amazing, but clearly a lot of the people that I work for on a freelance basis disagree and there are people that are always way better off than I am but that's neither here nor there I got my new job at the serving place and hopefully that will help with my income one fail though is I got a parking ticket and it is my fault so let me tell you what happened I nanny for one family and in LA there's areas where you cannot park on the street unless you have a permit ever and for a long time they didn't have a permit and so they would just have me park on the street and say if you ever get a ticket we'll pay it and that's been the case for years so when a few months ago they finally did get a permit and wanted me to, to run out and take it to my car when I'm there but not give me it permanently I just never really did because I never had gotten a ticket before so finally the day came when I did get a ticket. It was $58 and it was just piling on to the stressful month that I had, but oh well. You live and learn. It was also the last day I was nannying for them before they canceled a bunch of days because, like I said, people are struggling financially. So they needed to find another option besides me watching the kid, so... Ah. <laughs> life just piles on sometimes doesn't it I think that January is a big trial period month it is like you have to take five or five thousand or ten thousand steps back before you can jump into the the great year that you're gonna have January is just a test and I made it through now almost kind of all right so I've jumped now to filling out the weekly breakdown. So I made $705 plus I had $114 left over from last week. So I'm working with $819. I spent $169.40 on groceries, $58.21 on dining out, $33.03 on gas, $229 on parking, one hundred and fifty ninety five on my debts, and then eighty two fifty three were my work expenses, which was getting the food handler card and non slip shoes, undershirt, pants, and I'll probably be wanting to get other pairs of pants and stuff as I go forward. But I have the basics covered now, and then there was my water bill of eighty two sixty. So after I add it all up, I have two hundred and forty dollars going into the final week of the month and I will be back to talk to you guys soon and actually do my monthly budget review for once. I wanted to not do it this month guys but I need to start doing it so that I can start each month fresh and close things off at the end of each month. This month was stressful but if I want next month to be better I need to be on top of it and I'm going to do that. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.